Let's talk about John. Oh, kids, why did I ever mention it? No, no, that's not the problem. Well, yes, we have some differences there, but nothing serious. The problem is that when I try to protect him, he goes crazy. Whenever someone starts getting too close, like a chick with bigger balls than them, they just turn their fucking firewall on. Yeah, like you know so much about men. I could have gotten mad, but I just put up with it. Do you regret it? Truth is that I don't regret reproaching him for his obsessions. But I don't regret always giving in. John has gone through a lot, and... You won't find anybody like John. He's special. I can't believe my friend Weasel <laughs> is saying this about a guy. Hi, my name is John Yesterday. I'm 500 years old, yada, yada, yada. You really thought I wouldn't notice you had another hidden folder beside the one we share on your server? Mm. Oh, yeah. And you think he's crazy as a loon? No, Rat. When you've used as much as I've used, you learn to tell reality from imagination. What? But you never said anything. Not even when I asked you for the coin. We have too many unfinished issues. When we finish with them, you tell me if 500 years are enough for a man to find a clitoris. <laughs> okay, then. Oh. No, no. The problem. Whenever some. Yeah, I could have. Do you regret it? Truth is that I don't regret, but in the end, you won't. I can't believe. Hi, my name. You really thought. So. Oh, yeah. No, Rob. No matter what you no, say, we have to when we say the same thing. All right. Mm. All right, so I guess I gotta take a picture of something for this woman. these houses. Oh, it was built in the 17th century. That seems like a good thing. Well, there you go. I did it. Mr. Torrin is a topic for the new Van Gogh. I think it's perfect. Now you go chat with your pals up there before you get bored here. I'll need about four hours to get this done. Jeez. Okay. Why is that important? Oh, 
Oh, I know why it's important. Um, <clears throat> sir, you're gonna have to, uh, be, um, got some gold teeth. Yeah, but that's none of your business. Actually, they are. I need them ever so badly. No way, Jose. You don't want to do that, miss. He screamed when they removed the real ones. He screamed when they put the golden ones in. He'll surely scream if you remove them now. But don't worry, Julius. I won't use the word chicken on you. Hey, you know what? They're all yours. Go on, remove them. Damn, why did he agree to this? Oh, Jesus Christ. That looks like it probably hurt a lot. That's quite a weird thing to do to prove a point. Holy shit, man. Okay, well, I got the gold teeth now. Say, miss, do you think that the word crybaby applies here? Fuck you, Marcus. You know I can't do that, Julius. Thanks for the teeth. Quite nice. Are you still thinking about killing me if I untie you? Well, Marcus and I have been talking, and... Yeah, we're gonna kill you, but very respectfully. Why can't you just bloody well pretend for once in your life? Like how his teeth are back. What if, when I untie you, you already have the Van Gogh? Then your friend is safe. Oh, is she? So, you have an airplane near the city. What if we do? Yes, miss. I want you to take me to London tonight. Oh, do you? Well, I'm afraid we can't fly if we're tied up here. My brother here's got a valid point. But the real problem is that if you untie us, we'll kill you. So, even if we fly you there afterwards, well... I assume you'd rather visit London as a living being. Am I right there, miss? Uh, yeah. Basically. One moment, Marcus. She wants something. Let's assume we help you. What will you give us in return? <laughs> Let's say... I won't kill you. Fair enough. You certainly are an effective negotiator, miss. Wait there, Marcus. She's not killing us. Why? How do you know that? I would certainly kill us. She's bluffing. She's not a murderer. Look at her eyes. I don't quite follow you. Then just take my word for it. You're good at logic and gore. I'm good at art and people. No deal, miss. Well, you're my prisoners. You'll be free again. I'm not sure you want to seal that deal, miss. You need to untie us before we fly, thus giving us free reign to kill you. Thanks so much for pointing that out, Marcus. <laughs> You're welcome, brother. <laughs> I'll pay you for it. Good hard cash, tax-free. Oh, so she's Mrs. Trump now, is she? Oh, if God. you're in the art collecting business, you obviously know who Victoria Baxter is. We offered her our services, but she wouldn't have them. But she has mine, and I just closed a good deal with her. Let me express my deepest envy, miss. No, wait. Is she lying, Julius? No, she isn't. Just look into her eyes. How many pounds are you willing to pay for the ride, miss? What about 2,000 pounds? <laughs> well, what about multiplying that by 20? Okay, but taking half off. Only if we add a percentage that makes me forget the awe in my face and the other affronts. Let's say 35%? Good. But, did I say tax-free? <laughs> I didn't mean it. I don't know who has the highest taxes. We'll apply taxes from the Netherlands, because that's where the service starts. Fair is fair. Then we're set for, uh, hmm. I'm going to need a calculator. 
Oh, no, you won't, Marcus. £28,491.45. Seriously? Is it too much? I'm not going to pay that ridiculous sum. Oh, yes, you are. What if I just don't have the money? Oh, shit. OK, different angle. Depending on the purpose of your trip, we may reduce your plane tickets a bit. So speak up. Good. But did I say tax-free? <laughs> I didn't mean it. <laughs> we'll apply UK taxes, because that's where the service will end. Fair is fair. Then we're set for, uh, mm. I'm going to need a calculator. Oh, no, you won't. Marcus? 23,076 no, better. 92. Seriously? Is it too much? I'm not going to... Oh, yes. I'm curious what the last one is. What if I just... Oh, shit. Depending. Good. We'll apply. Fair is... F then we're... Oh, no, you, Marcus. 29,000. Oh, fuck that. Seriously? Is it too much? I'm not going to pay... Oh, yes, you... What if I... Oh, shit. Depending. Good. We'll right. apply. <clears throat> UK tax is the best we can do. Oh, no, you, Marcus. 23,000. Seriously? Is it too much? Okay, gentlemen. We have a... Wait, wait. This has been way too easy, miss. You must be really desperate. And that's... Well, that's kind of scary. You must tell us why you're so desperate to get to London. Or there's no deal. You know Coleridge's? Like the palm of our hand, miss. What's that's Coleridge's? That's not true. I never studied the palm of my hand by heart. Nor yours. I need to get in there. End of story. Oh, I see. And I guess you already have the key to Coleridge's door. We've been trying to get in there for months. The alarm system is just a work of genius. Not a problem. Uh, let's say that Weasel is not the only tech-savvy girl on this boat. Julius, this could be a new beginning for us. Yeah. Well, fuck, Mr. Dickhead. We could establish ourselves on our own. Okay. Let's say I believe you. If you manage to get all three of us in there, then your plane tickets are on the house. You don't? Then you pay us. Marcus? £23,076.92. Okay, gentlemen. We've got a deal. All right. When my friend Weasel gives you the Van Gogh, and when she's safe, I'll untie you, and we'll be off. You wanted gold? You got it. Here, you are a resourceful rat. Now you go chat with your pals up there before you get bored here. I'll need about four hours to get this done. More or less the same I'll need for... Ugh. Good thing I solved the plane thing with Julius and Marcus, because I'm not going to be on time for the flight to London. Guys, are you ready to leave for London? Finally. Here's what we're going to do. Please let me tell it, miss. I'm good at these things. <laughs> you will untie us and give us the false van go. Arrangement closed. We will walk for six minutes to the closest taxi stand, where we'll wait between seven and nine minutes. We'll take off as soon as we get to the aerodrome, and you'll sleep instantly. You'll wake up when we land at Elstree's aerodrome on the outskirts of London. We will get in our car back, drive to our flat, and prepare our plan to sneak into Coleridge's. We will get in by the side alley. Miss, you will have 45 seconds to disable the building's alarm network. I dare say you'll do it in 43. Once we're inside, Julius will say, The piece you're looking for must be in room 12B. But I'll disagree. You're wrong, brother. It's in 8A. I'll be right, as always, and when I remind Julius of that fact, he will say, why do you always say what I'm going to say before I can say it? And I'll answer, because I'm good at recognizing patterns, and you only have a few of them. And you will say... Shh! Will you shut up and stand guard? You will extract a coin from an antique piece, then replace it with another coin, and we will run for our lives. Julius will want to celebrate, but you'll say goodbye very quickly. And you'll return to Paris to meet up with your boyfriend and probably have sex with him. But I'm not 100% sure all that is going to happen. <laughs> it's 
Thought about right. This 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 dialogue Did box. Did they take John? There was nothing I could do. They took him on a boat, and I I'm really sorry, Rat. I wish I could tell you where they are. You don't need to. Rue Saint Lison des Allers, seventeenth. Is that in Saint Germain des Prés? Yes, it's a mansion. Total snob land. If the mansion has a courtyard, it must have a sewer. And if there's a sewer, <laughs> I can help you sneak in. Hoping once we're out of a cutscene, this little dialogue thing will disappear. Baxter won't be back for a while. I hate waiting. Let's take a walk. We could surely use our two hours of daily exercise. Is it safe to leave the guy untied? No, he can't escape. And even if he could, he won't. Not without me. I mean too much to him. What we got here? Okay, how do we know the dimensions? What am I gonna do with these? Some kind of box addict? Alright, well I've left one of each size. That. Today, I will die for the last time. It seems amazing, impossible, but last. Maybe we should start prepping the piano hall for that thing they want to do with John yesterday. Not yet. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> it's like I'm playing Russian dolls or something. This box is now in that box. What the fuck is the point of that? Don't move my table yet. You can take it up when Baxter gets back. Ouch! In Spanish, my mother tongue <laughs> what am I doing? So I once translated the bards to be or not to be as to live or die. Well, that's about right, isn't it? Oh, how wrong you are. Ouch! Oh. It's not about death. I guess it's a pretty big box. Am I gonna get inside of it? Okay, we'll get inside of it. Um Yeah, I don't know what I, what what else. Um I don't know. I don't know. Roland was fixing up the plants in the lounge, I think. Another loser. It seems like everyone's got time off except that stupid gardener and I. Well, and Amanda. Okay. I could use some time off myself. 
Not that I'm complaining. Oh, again. Focus point of that. I thought I'd like take the tile up or something. Oh, oh damn floor. This is, this is, let's change size. Ah. 